Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. It's our double points weekend this weekend, which means double points across absolutely everything. You see on air here at Crafters TV and across the whole Crafters Companion website, which is brilliant. This is all about a masterclass where we take a couple of hours to really educate you uh, on something specific. This time, it's an amazing one because we have got a core tools masterclass for you. We've got Gemini's on the show, adhesives on this show as well, card stocks, there's uh, some great dies too. It's all the core things that we think uh, you need in your crafty stash. And telling you things I need in my crafty stash, Michelle McCarthy's here. How are you, Michelle? <laughs> oh, I'm very well, thank you. Are you excited? I am. There's so much coming up, isn't there, in the show? There is. Lots of exciting... What's uh, your thing that you're most excited about showing us over the next couple of hours? The ink pads, I think. Ooh. I don't know why. Well. I, I, I complain every time I use one because I get it everywhere, but um, I love our ink pads, so I'm excited to talk you through them. Brilliant. Looking forward to seeing those a little bit later in the show. Some awesome deals, uh, some quite low stocks items as well uh, coming up for you in the show. We're going to kick off with what I think is going to be the star of this show. Uh, it is our Gemini die cutting and embossing machine. Now, it is UK only, is that correct? Yep, yeah, excellent, it is correct. Uh, so this is what you're getting. So it's the original Gemini machine that you're looking at. It's got a 20% saving. It's very rarely that we do a 20% saving uh, across the board on our machine. So let me take you through everything you're getting in the box and a standard. So you're going to get all the plates that you would expect to have in here. So you've got your magnetic, your metal, uh, your embossing, your clear plastic, two of your clear plates as well. Uh, you've got lots of dives to get you started as well within the pack. You've got your user manual in here. There is the embossing folder as well. Should be 100 $179.99, uh, however, $143.99, that's a platinum price of £115.19. You save £36, everyone does, um, but of course, as a platinum, you're going to save even more than that as well. Uh, do go for that. Very, very busy on that. Something else which is going to be very busy, you thought 20% off on a Gemini was amazing. Let me share this with you uh, because this is absolutely incredible. It is our rose gold Gemini that we are talking about. Here it comes. Uh, 99.99. Now this should be 199.99. It is completely sold out in the US. It's a UK only for you. Uh, how much the stock's gone here, Johnny? 80% of the stock of this has gone. The opportunity to get yourself a Gemini Junior as a Platinum member for under £80. It's a saving of £120 for Platinum members. So maybe you've got the big one. I think, what's, what, what, are you, what are you looking for out of the show? You know, if you've got a smaller Gemini, you're going to upgrade to a larger one. If you've got a larger one, you're going to go for a second smaller one. Whatever you're doing, we've got you covered. And remember, you could really get a lot of points in this uh, particular show too, because you're going to get double points. You get 200 points there on that Gemini rose gold which is fantastic there's uh, so much in the show I think the best thing to do is if we just give you a whiz through some of the stuff that you're going to be seeing over the next couple of hours uh, so first up we've got oh my word yes it is here we do have them it is UK only though I'm afraid uh, it has sold out in the US it is the Gemini Pro this is a 12 by 12 can be extended up to a 12 by 18 cutting surface everyone saving 89.80 on this Platinum members are going to save, what, another £70 on that price? So are you looking at a saving of about £160 as a Platinum member on that? And double points as well. So you're going to get over 560 points there on that one purchase alone. Something else that we have is, is US only. Uh, it is the Gemini Go. Uh, it is this one just here. Now, this is brilliant because this is uh, mains operated or battery operated. So you can actually plug a power bank into this and use this on the go. Gives you all the ease of use of an electric machine, but a smaller, more portable version. You save 28 $28 there on that. We've also got the MIDI available. Here it comes. Uh, $55.99, $71.95. Again, a 20% saving. I know this was out of stock for a little while, the MIDI. It's back in stock now. If you've been waiting for it, less than 100 of these to go around, I'm hearing. It's a 6x9 platform. So if you love the Mini, you want something that was more a junior size, this is great. Also totally portable. It's the machine that I choose to use whenever I do any crafting here in the Crafters TV studio. Right, up next, we... Oh, I didn't know we had the foil press on the show. Did you know about this? 
I did. I did. I had no idea. I don't know where <laughs> I've been all day. Uh, Seventy nine ninety nine. It is again UK only. It has sold out in the USA. Platinum members can pick this up for sixty three ninety nine. Think of this as, as an extension of your Gemini machine. It's going to allow you to do all of those hot foiling techniques. It is a brilliant, brilliant piece of kit. You guys loved it. Go and have a look at the reviews for that over on our website. Right up next. Uh, we are going to come back. I'm going to just quickly remind you again of the deal you've got on the original Gemini. I think you're looking for a deal, 20% off machine only. We will be do we do we do deals with bigger savings than this. I'm going to be completely honest with you, but it's not often you see a machine only deal. And when we do a machine only deal, 20% is kind of as good as it gets with with regards to our original Gemini. 115.19. It is UK only as well, so it means you could split that into four uh, interest-free payments if you wanted to uh, as well, which is worth bearing in mind. Pay a quarter today. Uh, and then three further instalments uh, two weeks apart. We uh, also have that rose gold as well. We'll remind you of that a little bit later. Gemini then. What is it about the Gemini, Michelle? Why is it so special? Why, is it, why do we think it's the best die cutting machine out there? Um, because it is. <laughs> That's it. Goodbye. See you later. Um, <laughs> it's true. There's, un there's unrivaled pressure with right. our machine. I'm just looking at the big one there. I'm just thinking, debating whether I dare pick it up and carry it over to the to, to here, the, the big daddy. I'm right. debating whether I'm s as strong as you at the minute. We'll get Jake for that, Should don't we? we? Yeah. yeah. It's not that I can pick it up. I'll just trip with it. <laughs> we don't want that. So, yes, yeah, so unrivaled pressure. There's no other machine out there, manual or um, electronic, that um, has got the pressure that we have got. Um, so there's, there's really not much else I can say. We can cut through um, so many different materials with it. So you've got um, all of our machines, so from the Pro right down to the Mini, um, the pressure is the same. So even with the manual ones, you still have that Gemini pressure in there um, that equals the, the electronic ones. So. Um, I'm trying to, you know, make this go further, but there's really not much else to say. But what I will do is, so I'll show you the plates. So starting from the big one first, so these are the plates that you're going to get. So I'm not, I'm, let me put the, can you see that? So it's a 12 by 12, it's a scrapbooking um, size plate. So brilliant for your scrapbooking. So if you are scrapbooking and you want to cut into that actual um, piece of card, paper, whatever it is, you can do that now because you just bob it on there, you whack your whatever die it is on there, um, which you haven't been able to do before because, I mean, just by nature, scrapbooking is generally 12 by 12s. So this makes that job brilliant um, you can your box lids you can make huge boxes and you can die cut all the sides of them um, and run it through it just gives you um, so much more options um, so if you're batch making or if you make to sell uh, anything like that so I'm going to bring this in so this is the extender plate so I've left it in its packaging so maybe you can see it a bit more so you've got the 12 by no, you've got the 12 by 18 plate that you can get to come with this as well. So this is the plate that comes with it, so you 12 by 12. Uh, I did um, a masterclass um, a while ago on these and I got this plate out and I laid uh, 33 or 34 nesting dies on here and shoved them all through and was good to go. But um, not only that, so like our, um, you know, those triple easel dies that we've got, you can bung all three of those on there and be cutting them out all at once. So batch making capabilities, bigger project capabilities, because we do have, um, so we have our A3 Centura Pearl. Um, so you can put that on there, very much like a scrapbooking piece. You can die cut into it, which you wouldn't be able to do uh, with any of our other machines. So the Pro literally is a Pro, or as some of you call it, the Beast. The big daddy. Yes, absolutely. And as, as always, with all of them, you get um, all the plates. So you've got your, your two main plates. You've got your frosty. You've got your um, metal. And you've got your metallic in there. And obviously, you get two of those. So yeah, it's an absolute beast of a machine, if that's what you're wanting. 
Absolutely, it is. So that's the details of the Gemini Pro there on your machine. Uh, 35920 down to 287.36 as a Platinum member. Less than 100 of those. We are going to go back to that Gemini though, the original Gemini, uh, which is, I'll change those details for you, is this machine just here, uh, which is this one, 143.99 UK only uh which is uh it's brilliant it's 20 percent discount uh, it will give you a great discount on it you've got double points as well which is fantastic uh and you get everything you'd, you'd expect as standard so uh, you're getting all of the plates in here you are also getting dies to get you started an embossing folder to get you started in there and you've also got a manual in here as well as well as that uh, incredible machine with that pressure uh, as well which really sets it apart uh, you can also don't forget i love the fact that you the um plates in here are slightly less heavy and cumbersome than some plates out of there i know some machines have really big heavy plates it'd be really difficult getting them in and out you've also got buttons on here as well michelle talk us around if you would how we use it and what the buttons are for Oh yes, yeah, so obviously um, you have got your on-off button on there. Shall I bring? I'll bring it over so you can see. Just so let's bring this over. There we go. Oh, it has to. It has to be done. It has to be given a stroke when you've <laughs> picked it up and moved it because it's fabulous. So you've got your on and off. Obviously, turns it on and off. But you do have the the switch at the back um, for your on and off as well. And then you press that one to turn it on on. Is that like being out, out and not out? Out, out, on, on. <laughs> it's on, on. Um, your pause um, and rewind. So this is your pause. So if it gets halfway through um, and you want to just bring it back out. So if you've not got enough room, if you're on a, um, a desk at home um, and you've got this up to the wall, you can put it so far in and press this button to pause it, press this button to bring it back out of the front and you can turn your plate round and you can cut that way um, or if you've got our fabulous um, twisty desk you don't need to do that but it's also I, I tell you how I use this the most um, when I'm not paying attention and my card is sticking out a little bit at the edge you can pause it you can rewind it bring it back out straighten your piece of card up and then you haven't ruined it as you put it, putting it through um, you know Obviously, it's hard for you to believe that I'm not always paying <laughs> full attention to everything I'm doing. What happens if we get that sandwich wrong, we put something that's too thick through there, are we going to damage the machine? No, you're not. If you were going to... If you're going to try to put something through her and she doesn't like it, she's going oh, to tell um, you. It's a her. I, we just didn't misgender that Gemini. No, we, we've, we were talking, we were having, we were right, having okay. a bit of a chat before. It's so a she, her. Yeah, okay. She's a she, just her. as long as we sort it. <laughs> So if you have got your sandwich wrong, um, which w we all do, it's fine because um, if she's not happy, she's going to tell you, she's going to stop and she will spit it back out. If she stops and doesn't come back out, just press the, re I'm calling it a rewind button. Um, Can I get a re rewind? <laughs> rewind, reverse, yeah. Um, it will spit it out. It will tell you, no, I don't like that. It will come out and then you know to change your sandwich. Um, if it just stops, just press your rewind button, reverse, uh, and pop it out that way. So very easy done. You're not going to damage um, this machine. Uh, absolutely. Very, very busy on this now already. £115.19 if you are a Platinum member. Are you upgrading today? Uh, then what a great machine this is if you are doing so. Remember, you can use thin metal dies for this, our multimedia dies, cutting things like paper, cardstock, felt, hessian, craft metal, pop and soda cans. I mean, there's really there's very little, is there, Michelle, that this machine won't cut? There's not, no. Um, and with the pressure, again, of the Gemini, you can cut through most things. Um, if you can't cut through most things, then that's when our multimedia dies come in. But for the most part, so with our normal um, dies, so you can see that my multimedia die is this gold colour, uh, and for the most part, our normal dies. Let me just move that so one. Would we cut cardstock with our multimedia dies, or do you have to keep them for sort of heavier, more substantial uh, materials? No, you can cut cardstock um, with the multimedia dies. If you are going to cut cardstock with these, put more than one piece through, so two or three, um, because you're going to find with a multimedia die, because the blade is so much thicker, uh, if you're just going through one piece of card, you're going to find it really indents into your plate. So put two or three pieces of card through um, if you go into cut card with the multimedia ones. 
Um, normal ones, um, absolutely fine. So I'm gonna, we're going to run through some normal dyes with some materials. We're going to show you how the embossing works. And I'm also I'm going to show you how to emboss a stencil. Um, so we've, we've spoke about this a little bit, um, but I thought today we, we're showing you the Gemini, so we'll show you how that's done. So um, a little bit of glitter card and a die. So I've got all sorts here. So I've just got normal cotton. I've got a little bit of felt. Um, I've got a little bit, I think that's like a pleather. Nice. It's uh, re quite thick, nice and substantial there. Um, so I've got some denim. I've got some, um, is it hessian? That's nice and thick. I've got some cork. And of course, it You're not going to cut that once, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> just checking. I, I know just, it's strong, but... <laughs> I thought I'll just show you what I've got here <laughs> next to me so you know what we're going to... We're going to have a play with. So we've got a nice, um, intricate die there. So we'll cut that out on a piece of card. Because I think it's fair enough, isn't it? You know, a lot of die cutting machines out there, basic shapes, absolutely brilliant. You know, when you start cutting intricate dies, like this, with multiple cutting points. Yes. And then, you know, you cut them maybe on one side of the machine, then you cut them in the other corner, you're switching them around. Yes. Even with this, even in the middle of the machine, this is going to give you... Because pressure, but even pressure, which is important, isn't it? It is. So you've got even pressure all the way across. Um, but I, I have noticed that Sarah has said sometimes, so the way she's explained it is, so when you're putting this die through the machine, you have got all those cutting points all the way across. So when you put it through your machine, your machine needs to cut all those cutting points at once. So um, if you do find with, see, I'm saying if you do, because I've never had a problem. So if you do find that it's struggling a bit, what Sarah does is she angles it. Because then when you angle it and you, your blades come in, so you're putting it through your machine, it doesn't hit as many cutting points all at once. It staggers them. So if you do have trouble, um, see, I, I, I'm struggling to help you with this one because I've never put anything through my Gemini that hasn't cut perfectly first time. Um, if I know I've got something uber intricate and I'm maybe going into a glitter card, that is when I will bring this in. Um, or acetate. So if I'm cutting into acetate, then this is when I will use that as well. Um, because you've got your metal um, die onto metal, so it, it really gives it that um, oomph nice. to cut all the way through. But again, it's about playing with your machine, it's about learning your machine. Um, and again, which is half of the fun, or most of the fun, where's my tape? So I'm just gonna bring my tape in. Um, I've got one here, let me use The this. other thing I'd say as well is that a lot of, a lot of demonstrators out there that are paid to demonstrate other machines or use other machines on air, Go home and use a Gemini at the end of the day, and we know that because <laughs> yes. I know who they are. These people, I'm friends with them. I've seen them do it. Um, but yeah, I think uh, it's an incredible machine. Amazing results as well, and amazing reviews on this. Check those out over on our website. Um, the other thing, if you do want some low-tech tape, an absolute essential when it comes to uh, using your Gemini, then it's on the bottom of the screen there. Seven ninety-eight or eleven dollars twelve cents. It gets you a two-pack, so six rolls in total and they are on uh, the dispenser as well which is awesome dispenser dispenser <laughs> um right uh who's tuning in saying hello there's lots of people saying hi today thea is in saying hello from the netherlands pam is in new york carletta saying hi nicole evelyn in colorado nina uh, is in pennsylvania georgiane also in clearwater florida everyone saying hi i'm sure there was someone from arkansas a minute ago that i read but now i can't find them they've gone so I'm just putting a few different, oh, let me get a smaller one, a few different materials. So I've got a bit of glitter You're card. You're putting it through the test, aren't you? Yeah. So what's on that one? We've got card stock, glitter so card, So we've got white Hessian. card stock, yeah. And this is that pleather stuff. So right. It's quite thick. So. So lots of different mixed medias. Lots of All different. once at the same time. Intricate dye. Yeah. And very tough materials. Yeah. And we're going to bob it through. Goes. No metal shim either. No, I don't need my metal shim. Um, it's very rare that I use it, but it is included in there. Because, um, like I say, if I'm putting through into glitter st uh, cardstock with an intricate die, I will use my metal shim. Um, if I'm cutting through acetate, I will use my metal shim. Just because it's an actual pain in the bottom sometimes um, to cut through acetate. 
So we've got that lovely pleather. And that was just a thin metal die you cut that with? It was, Not yes, a multimedia die. Not a thin... Oh, that one's not gone through. Why has that not gone through? Maybe... I'll did tell you Did you put you a die on that one? May oh, did I? I have a feeling you might not have put the die on that I one. I think I have, no. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's cut through the thickest one on there perfectly. And of course it's moved for me, so it's cut through the glitter cardstock perfectly. Um, let's run this back through again. Let's tape it down. Of course it moved. It's because I'm too busy talking. So let's the intricate one on there as well. So the intricate one is on there. Um, it hasn't cut all the way through, and I'll tell you why it hasn't. Because I've had the different thicknesses of materials. Right. It's not gone through with that. So let me move that, and then we'll put that back on. So let me just move it over so they all fit. Take that down. So I'm oh, not going to take is. that off. It's Alicia. She says, good morning from Arkansas. I have a question. I get overwhelmed in batch card making. What should I start with first? Making the embellishments or the card bases? Good question. Um, if you know um, exactly what card you're making, um, start with the funnest bit first. Start with the embellishment. Um, it, you know, if you've got 50 of them to make, start with doing your 50 embellishments. I personally, when I'm batch making, um, I do all my card bases first, then all my mat and layers, and then my embellishments. But it's entirely up to you. Like I said, um, make it fun. If you're having to batch make, make it fun. No, it's not playing with that one. So we're going to put um, my metal shim in. Yeah, so... So this um, is exactly what you do at home if something's yeah, in the Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a prop. This is what it's here for. If you're struggling to cut through something, um, Put your metal shim in. It's not a problem. It's, that's one of the main reasons that it is included in there. So these are the dies that I'm using. My well-loved, as you can see, I've got some missing. Oh, did you hear that lovely sound there? Yeah. So it's definitely put it that time. And again, it's about your machine. I know my machine at home um, just cut differently to this one here. But again, I don't think mine at home has gone through much as much use as this one has. So let's just, so there you go. So it's cut through beautifully. Um, I needed to put my metal shim in, but that's not a problem because that's what it's for. Um, this one still hasn't cut through properly, just right in the middle there. So what we're going to do is we're going to angle that one. So this one doesn't want to play, but you can guarantee. So if I put a different one on, that one's going to play. Um, and again, no worries, no problem. We just bob it through with the metal shin. Shin? Shin, even. Gin? <laughs> Gin sounds good right about now. Um, Sunday afternoon. Uh, pink Five o'clock somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So it's played for me this time. Um, yeah, so some, yeah, bobbing my metal shim in has done it perfectly. Uh, I'm not going to stand and pop all of those out, but we'll pop some of the middle ones out so you can see that it's cut all the way through to the middle. Um, so, yeah, I needed to use my metal shim, but it's not a problem. So, shall we emboss this? So, embossing, we just bob all these to the side. So, we have got 2D and 3D embossing folders. Um, you will have a different sandwich for all of those, but uh, I don't know if you can, you can. Let me see if I put a piece of black card, you can see that better. So there you go. So you can see the 2D and the 3D. You can see the difference. You've just got that um, one layer of definition on that and you can see that you've got two different layers. I know that sounds daft. Let me see if you can see it better that way. Um, you've got those top embossing pieces and then those really big raised ones, which is what makes them, so you can see it better that way, um, 2D and 3D. So for your 2D, if you're going to run a 2D embossing folder through your machine, you just need your two main plates. If you're going to run a 3D one, you need your main plate and your frosty shim. So, your main plate. Um, what is this called? Plastic shim. Plastic shim. 
Excellent. Well, that makes sense because it's made out of plastic. Um, so, yes, yeah, so 2D, two main plates, 3D, main plate, and your frosty shim. So let's just move those. So for this, let's run this through and emboss it. Let's get a piece of card. So I'm going to bring in my plates and the plates that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put my main plate on there and I'm embossing. So I'm going to bring in my rubber mat and I'm going to lay it on there. Um, I'm going to put my piece of card on and I'm going to put my embossing, well, my stencil on the top. And the rule of thumb is when you have your rubber in, your rubber mat in, you take out the magnetic so so um <laughs> we don't need the metal one so um how to play my rubber mat card embossing uh, not embossing because it's a stencil but we're going to emboss it frosty and top plate and we're just going to run that through. Brilliant. So using this now to emboss in all of your different stencils, which is amazing, with that embossing mat, which is just fantastic. I mean, you get all of it included, don't forget. We're getting the magnetic, the uh, metal, uh, the embossing, and the two clear plates. You're getting everything you'd normally get if you came and paid £179 for it, which is excellent. So let's take these off. So straight away, I hope you can see that. You can see that there. It's awesome. Stuck. There you go, look at that. I'll keep, I'll keep still, Charlotte can come in. Look at that, just from a stencil. Really brilliant. So now, every single stencil that you have got in your stash, you can emboss first, and then going over that with your, or placing your stencil back on, inking through it, really will make the um, embossed feature on that. So you've got now twice as much uh, use for those stencils in your stash that we don't necessarily get out as much as we should do. So, yeah, so that's what you can do just with your stencil. Brilliant. Absolutely excellent. Uh, lots of you going for it already. Let me run you back through exactly what you're getting included then. So you're going to get the machine itself. You get that user manual, everything in that user manual uh, to allow you to get the best out of your machine. So you've got in here uh, lots of different things. I'll just bring that down for you so you can have a look at this. Uh, so you've got in here an explanation about the whole machine, all the safety features, how the sandwiches go together. Uh, you've got it all in there for you, which is absolutely excellent. So you get that. You get an embossing folder, a 3D embossing folder to get you started. Uh, one of our edgeable dies, some embellishments, which is great, some nesting dies, and one of our wonderful aperture dies. All the plates you'd need. It's an incredible deal. It's not often we give you that 20% blanket saving. So if you've been looking for the machine on its own, if you've already got enough dies and embossing folders in your stash, this is the deal you want to go for. It isn't very often we bring this to you. If you are a Platinum member, everyone's getting some sort of discount, aren't they? Because everyone's in the club somewhere. But Platinum members, this goes down to 115.19, which is excellent. Uh, so definitely snap it up. Right, uh, we're going to give you an opportunity to check out. Uh, so let's, whilst you check out your bus, because it's super busy on this at the moment, let's share with you all the features of the original Gemini. This is Gemini, one of the fastest, quietest electronic die cutting and embossing machines on the market. Its industry leading high pressure system delivers fantastic results from intricate dies and folders, all at the touch of a button. Its oversized opening and platforms provide for edge-to-edge -edge cutting of US letter and A4 size with thin metal dies, allowing you to cut materials such as thin cardstock, vinyl, craft metal and fabric. No cranking needed as it will move the plates through automatically and quickly, which means you may spend less time on preparation and more time on inspiration. The Gemini has optical switches, making it hands-free and fully automated with a built-in auto-reverse function for protection. It's easy to use, so you're always in control. Its sleek low-profile design makes it a superb addition to any craft workspace. It has built-in handholds, meaning you can easily take it anywhere. The Gemini is a universal die-cutting and embossing machine that works with the majority of all leading brands of thin metal dies and embossing folders. All of the platforms that you need come included in the box, as well as a thick rubber embossing mat for intricate detail work on your dual-purpose cut and embossed dies. The addition of the metal cutting plate allows you to cut intricate dies in a single pass through the machine and enables you to cut multiple layers of fabric. For a perfect cut every time, you need Gemini, the electronic die cutting and embossing machine made by crafters for crafters. 
absolutely, it's an incredible machine. Lots of you taking the time to check out there uh, under that last piece of video. We're going to move on. Uh, I want to share this with you as well. If you're in the, in the uh, market for a junior size machine, then this is the machine for you. It is the Gemini Junior Rose Gold that we are talking about, which is brilliant. Um, has all the pressure of a larger Gemini. It has a six by nine inch platform. You'll get all the plates, the dies, the manual, the embossing folder as you got with the original Gemini. This is a half price deal. It was a limited edition, this rose gold. It is not coming back. You've got a clearance price on this. It has sold out in the US and it is approaching limited stock. If you are a platinum member, you can get a Gemini Junior. I can't believe I'm saying this for 80 pounds. 80 pounds, that is sensational value for money. It really, really is. If you want it, grab it. Uh, it is a brilliant, brilliant deal, that one. Now, talking of rose gold, lots of you are chatting to me about your Geminis, how much you love them as well. Let me just read a few of these comments out. Uh, I absolutely love my Gemini Pro, says Joe Holzer. Liz says, the only Gemini I don't have is the Junior. Um, Donna says, hi Joe and Michelle from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, it's cold here and I love my new Gemini. I bought for myself for Christmas. What an awesome excuse to treat yourself. Um, Thea's got the Gemini and the Midi, loves both of them. Panda Crafts loves the idea of calling it the Frosty Shim. Mm -hmm. uh, can you use the Midi embossing plate in the regular Gemini? I think mm, Midi, uh, does the Midi have an embossing plate? It's just as a purple shim and a folder, doesn't it? Yes. It so does. can you use a folder through that? The no. Thing? No, you no. can't. The tools and accessories for the Gemini and the Gemini Junior are different to the accessories for the Gemini Midi. Uh, the, the Mini and the Midi are the same. You can use the Mini accessories through the Midi if you want to, but you can't use Mini or Midi accessories in your Gemini Junior or original Gemini. Uh, great tip on embossing the stencils as well, says Deborah. Now, one of my favourite things on the show is this. I love these. These should be £20 each 20 pounds each these should be you're paying as a platinum member you're paying for one and a half for these and getting one and a half free that is amazing value and I love the fact that we put these together because what you've got in here is pearlescent card which is this one just here so this one here we're looking at is the regal rose gold got the pearlescent card there really beautifully lustrous as you can see and then what you get is you get the fully encapsulated glitter card top <laughs> passes the beard test yeah no glitter no glitter in here. Uh, so you've got that one. Then you've also got this one, which is your glittering gold. So uh, again, that beautiful, it's like a really rich gold. It's almost like a butterscotch, isn't it? I love it. And then you've got in there that beautiful glitter in the gold too, in the 12 by 12 again. And then you've got the silver in here. Now I know the, the silver sold out recently, so really pleased to see this back in stock. And then you've got that wonderful silver. There's something about a silver glitter card. It's just so, so classy and beautiful. It really is lovely. 44.50 or 51.50 if you want to get your hands on those. 35.60 or 41.20 if you are a platinum member. Now, I want to move on. Uh, Centura Pearl, manufactured in the UK. It's an essentials collection we've got for you. Uh, it, it's brilliant. It's all 310 GSM. Uh, and in here, what you've got is you've got the four packs. You're going to get the black, the lilac, the baby blue, and the fuchsia as well. £13 or $23 if you want to get that. A really good all-round weight, that one. Great for lots and lots of different jobs. We're going to have a look next at this machine just here. The Gemini MIDI is the next one we're going to go to. Uh, one of the, the, I was probably, probably the newest, isn't it, in the Gemini machine range really really fantastic machine hand wound as well so you take it anywhere you want six by nine is the platform size on this a brilliant price great saving for you again 55.99 in the uk 71.95 if you're stateside this is the one i tend to use michelle i would say but very easy maybe a great starter machine this one yeah um i think it's a perfect starter machine um I think Ben, Ben's got one and he does it with his data. Mm. Um, I've had a lot of people... Apparently Ben this. stole Craig's and hasn't given it oh, back. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Um, I've had a lot of people say that these are what they've um, bought as Christmas presents for like grandkids. Um, so taking a, the worry away about maybe giving an electronic machine to a kid, um, giving them one of these has just been perfect. So we've got those lovely suckers on the bottom. Um, and they're really strong. They will they'll lift this up. Shall we have a go? Look at that. There we go. 
So I could swing that. it round. No, I couldn't swing it round my head, really. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so really strong suction. So you know that when you're running your stuff through it, it's not going to be moving and sliding on your desk. So this one, so this is the um, plate for this. So this is um, the same as the um, junior. Six by nine, So isn't you've it? got a nine by six plate there. Um, and it, it does... You can use it always, so you can flip it, um, rotate it. You can use all four sides of this. It's perfect. So what we're going to do um, with this is, so you're just going to open it up. You're going to put your piece of card in. So let me put it on that side. And so I've got one of these. I've got one of these new. Um, what are they called? Um, so these Gemini elements. So this is the new home one. So we're just going to. So it's this one that I'm going to use. So these are lovely. I adore these. We only um, uh, released these very recently, didn't we? And that's Did, these. just the other day. Yeah. Indeed. I think what's great about this, if you are new, the reason I love using it, is there's no plate combination to worry about whatsoever. No, put your cardstock and your die in the folder, you put it through. Um, the other great thing is the folders are very, very affordable. Do we have the, the extra folders on the show today, Johnny? He's just checking for us. Uh, so the plastic ones, or we've only got the purple one. We've got the purple embossing shim on the show, not the folders. Um, but you'll find them over on the website. They're sold out at the moment. Uh, so you'll get a couple included, which is awesome. I think you get three included, don't you? Uh, they last you a long while. Flip and rotate them, but then they're yes. very inexpensive to replace as well, which is great. So you can afford to replace them. Yeah, you absolutely can. So you can see, as soon as I've um, opened it up, all my little bits have popped out, so just showing that the, the pressure of the MIDI, even though it's not an electronic one, um, is exactly the same as you're going to get in our electronic ones. Do you need to be Hulk Hogan to use this? Absolutely not. Do you know what? It's so much fun to, to use. It just goes through like butter. I mean, if you just saw me um, twisting the handle there, uh, there was no effort put into it. So. Um, for me, so I was introduced to Gemini um, a good few years ago, so I got Carpal Tunnel and I struggled with my manual one because you really had to crank it to push my banana shaped plates through. Um, so I saw this um, online, you know, fluttered my eyes, my eyelashes at my husband and got the, the manual, uh, not the manual one, that one. So when we brought this one out, I thought, oh, I'm, am I going to struggle with that? But I don't. So what we'll do is um, 3D embossing folder. We'll put a piece of card in the middle. So when you're putting your embossing folder through, you don't put it through the plates that come with it. You just put the embossing folder through as it is. So we're just going to put that there. And I'm going to just turn just with two fingers. Perfect. So and that's that gearing see. system you've got in yeah. there, isn't it? So obviously it's a very small turn, but it's a nice sort of wide turn on the handle. So, I mean, if you yeah. can do that with two fingers, that's amazing. Yeah, so simple, easy. And it just, it does, it just runs through like butter. And there's my beautiful, you can't see it on black card. I should have used white, maybe. Can you see that? Mm, not just, quite. There you go. You can see I that I can now. see that now, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so you saw how easy that was for me to, to run it through. So when you're using your embossing folders, you do not put them inside your plates that come with it. But if you're die cutting, um, that folder that comes with it, you just put your card in, your dies, and as you can see, it cuts straight out perfectly. Brilliant, really is great. You look, guys at home love it as well. Elaine says, I just love my MIDI. I also have the Gemini. I love that I can use the junior plates in the Gemini for smaller pieces. Great point. Uh, Kathy Lives, he says, I love my MIDI. It's my go-to machine. I also have the Gemini and the junior, but I really, really love the MIDI. Mary Lee Carroll says, I purchased one so that I could craft while others are sleeping. It's my craft area uh, and one bedroom share a wall. Great point. It is completely silent as yes. well. Doing a bit of stealth crafting in the night. Uh, Candice says, love my MIDI. Makes cutting small dice so quick. I have also cut intricate dies, those that fit one pass wonder. Absolutely. I think you can look at it and think, oh, so, uh, you know, it's a hand wound a machine how powerful is it going to be it has that name of Gemini on the outside of it so what that means is you are it's going to have that power 
on there. So what that means is that even on a hand-wound portable machine, which is a plate, a folder-based system rather than a plate-based system, you're still going to get the unrivaled even pressure. So intricate dies, absolutely. Things like edibles in here, uh, they are going to cut beautifully every single time. 55.19 or 71.95 is your price on this, a platinum price, so as you can see at 44.79 or 57.56. Also, don't forget double points across absolutely everything, which is fantastic. So if you are eyeing at the next level in the club, then maybe today is going to be the day that you get there. Right, I want to mention this one as well. It is the Gemini Go. Uh, probably the machine I know the least about, I would say. It is a automatic machine. I know it looks like uh, it has a plate-based system, a folder, um, a plate-based system, sorry, uh, but it's the size of your Gemini Mini. But it's electric, it's, ma it's automatic. I love that, I think it's great. You've got the uh, on the rewind uh, and the pause on the top of there. Uh, it operates in exactly the same way that your Junior and your uh, original Gemini do. It's 111.96, it is US only though. We do not have any UK stock of this at the moment. Um, I'll tell you what, well, why don't we give you an opportunity to check out your baskets on the Gemini, the Rose uh, and also the Midi, but we'll share with you the features of the Go whilst we do that, take a look. Gemini Go has arrived. Do you want the power of an electronic die cutting machine but don't have the space at home? Then the Gemini Go is for you. This portable, small, compact and efficient die cutting and embossing machine has the same power and precision as the larger Gemini machines but in a portable size. So whether travelling away in a caravan or RV, in the park or at your local craft class, you can take your Gemini Go with you. Take this little machine anywhere and craft on the go. For ultimate portability, the Gemini Go can be operated with an external power source, available separately, via the Gemini battery booster cable. It has a platform size of 3 inches by 6 inches, so is perfect for your smaller crafting projects, saving you time when cutting sentiments, small mats and frames. It's compatible with most thin metal dies and allows you to cut materials such as cardstock, vinyl, fabric and craft metal, which makes it great for fans of mixed media crafting as well as paper crafting. Effortlessly cutting through multiple layers of fabric in one pass through the machine, the Gemini Go is perfect for soft craft projects too. In the box you'll receive your machine and all the platforms you need to get crafting on the go. Compact, portable and powerful. The Gemini Go. Made by crafters for crafters. There you are, the Gemini Go, a truly awesome small portable machine. Hook that up to a power bank as well, which is amazing. So you can have that electric, electronic die cutting um, sort of experience any way you want it, which is excellent. 111.96 comes 85, 89, sorry, 57. You will get double points, of course, as well. Uh, it is US only at the moment. Something else we want to talk to you about is very, very busy on this, a 20% saving on this, 79.99. It is UK only, platinum price of 63.99. You will, of course, get double points. Um, it's, uh, it's just one of your favorite machines we bring you, I think, from uh, Gemini. It is, of course, your Gemini foil press. Uh, we're not going to talk to you about it in the studio. We are going to share with you the incredible features. Take a look. The Gemini Foil Press has arrived. Professional and luxurious hot foil letterpress can now be achieved in your own home with our innovative foil press system. This clever machine has been designed with so many fabulous and unique features and it really does take paper and mixed media crafting to an exciting new level. Delivering professional looking foiling results using a hot press technique that ensures crisp, clean images. Perfect for stationery, invitations, party decorations, home decor and so much more. 
The foil press is the only hot foiling system that uses a silicon plate, and we've created a plate that has edge-to-edge -edge heat. So no matter where you place the dies, the heat will be the same. There are no cold spots or hot spots, just one consistent temperature, which again ensures perfectly foiled results every time you use it. Fast heat up reduces wait time, making projects faster to complete. The innovative foil stamp and cut dies allows you to do exactly that, creating professional quality hot stamping, and they work on everything from paper, fabric, cardstock to leather, vinyl, balsa wood, and more. Don't waste any of your foil, as you can use the negative foil left over to create another project. With any machine that involves the use of heat, safety features are an absolute priority. The foil press has been fitted with a built-in cool-down feature that kicks in when the machine has been in use for a lengthy amount of time. There is also an automatic shut-off feature that will turn the machine off if the heated platform has been engaged for 25 minutes and not used. Everything needed comes in the box, including a handy manual which gives you all the time and temperature settings for the dies, so you can start foiling straight away. The Gemini Foil Press. Made by crafters, for crafters. I know so many of you out there that own the Gemini Full Press and absolutely adore using it. It is an incredible, incredible piece of kit. Brilliant opportunity to get your hands uh, on it as well. $79.99, uh, that Gemini Foil Press. I'll just give you the details again for that. Uh, Cheryl K saying, I use both my original and my MIDI. Uh, there you are, Gemini Foil Press, 7 by 5 foiling platform, $79.99 uh, or $63.99 if you are a Platinum member. We are going to go back and talk about the rose gold. I need to let you know that the rose gold is now limited stock. So if it is in your basket, if you've got the rose gold in your basket, you need to check it out. It's extremely busy uh, on this at the moment. Probably gonna be your last opportunity to see this. It was a limited edition, we won't be restocking this. So if you do want it, if you're in the UK, I think there's a more affordable way to start your Gemini die cutting journey absolutely brilliant brilliant value there on that you will need to be fast for it back to the gemini very busy on that gemini uh, it is an incredible deal that you are getting here we're giving you 20 percent off the machine itself so it's the largest machine in there you will get of course all of the plates that you'd expect to get in stand a standard in here you're getting regular dies uh, you're getting nesting dies in this, embellishing dies. Uh, you've also got edgeable dies there too, and a 3D embossing folder and the manual to kick it off. Um, very simple and easy to use. Just the three buttons on the top of here. Uh, it's a fantastic machine. This is a brilliant deal as well. 36 pounds uh, is what you're going to be saving on this. Platinum members are gonna save, what, another 30 pounds almost on top of that. So you'd be looking at about a 65 pound saving as a Platinum member on this. Maybe today's the day you're going to be upgrading to that Gemini. Uh, we're going to go back to Michelle. She's got more to tell us about the Gemini. I love it. I do. It's, it's fabulous. It's fantastic. And it's just great fun to play with. So I just thought we, we cut, um, so we cut some um, like a pleather and this hessian earlier. Um, so I thought we'd, we'd bring in some more materials and we'd cut those. So we've got some um, cork there. So we're going to run that through. Um, I've got another intricate die so we'll run that through at the same time and I've got so I've found this these elements ones again so we've got these tag ones so I thought so we'll cut the tag ones out on that and then so I've got some um it's just like a cotton material so we'll cut we'll show that it cuts a few layers of those out at once so let me find a nice how big are we so let's cut a piece of this out and we'll run that through so this is brilliant so obviously if you are um a sewer, something like that, being able to cut more than um, one layer of your fabric out at once is just, well, it's a must really, isn't it? So, let's bring my plates in. So, I've got layers of material there. We'll put that tag die on there. And so we'll cut this down and we'll put those through. We'll put those through on there. And then let me, we'll move that over there. We'll put this piece of card on and we'll run that through as well. So again, so your, your combination, your plate combination is going to be, let me just move that one. 
and that one. So you're going to have your base plate, um, so you, your material and your dies facing down. You always want your dies cutting into one of the outside plates. Um, you're going to get the best cut that way because um, you've got the, the hard metal cutting into a hard plastic. If you have it the other way round um, and you cut into your magnetic, you're going to end up with some lovely fridge magnets. No, we don't want that, do we? We don't want that. And if you're going to cut into this plastic shim, um, it's more pliable, so you're just not going to get the cut. So you definitely always remember to be cutting into your outside hard plate. So let's run these through. And then I thought we didn't emboss before, so I'll show you. We'll run the 2D and the 3D embossing folder so through. If, so we over, if we overloaded that now, we'd, you know, that was the wrong combination. We put too much in there, it was too thick. What would happen, Michelle? With so if I put that through, it would stop. My plate would just stop halfway through. It would pause for a second and then it would push it back out. Um, if it doesn't push it back out, just press your reverse button and it'll come out yourself. But it absolutely, um, I mean, the sensors in there, that's just what you know makes this so brilliant. It, um, it just won't have it. It's, it'll be like, absolutely no, take that back, do it again properly. Um, you can see now that one's And that's great, isn't it? Because, I mean, other machines out there, yes. if you put too much in them, they just jam and that's yeah, it. You've they do. ruined your machine. So there's always like an insurance policy. Those optical sensors in there, which are going to kick everything back out again, which I think is wonderful. That's it, yeah. And another thing you've got to also remember is with these optical sensors is never have your magnetic on the outside. So when you're running um, either your 2D or your 3D embossing folder through, um, if you've put your magnetic in there, make sure... So for the 2D, um, you use your two outside plates. Um, I do know some people will use their main plate, their embossing folder, and their magnetic and their plastic. Now, if that works for you, it's fine. Um, you know, the sandwich works, it's, it's not a problem. Because for the 3D, you have your plastic shim on the top. Never have your magnetic on the top ever, because it's with those sensors in there, it's just gonna, it's gonna ruin them. So you don't want that. So, as you can see, we've cut all the way through that lovely sticky back cork. Um, my die is cut through properly, perfectly. Uh, let's get that popped out. As you can see, you can see all the bits are just popping out without me having to do it. Anything to it. The hardest bit is finding which one is the release hole to pop your <laughs> die out. <laughs> so you will pop them out. Let me just give that a tap. You pop, there we go, look. So oh, that's fabulous. cut through beautifully. And then and that's bits. cutting mixed, that's cutting a whole host of different fabrics all at the same time. Yeah, so I had my card, my 300 GSM card. I've got this cork and then we've got this. So we've got one, two, three, four. See, uh, that's cut through four. It would have cut through more because you saw how quick and easy it just dropped out of here. So I think I've seen Debbie Fisher do six or eight through just the cotton. So um, it's... Uh, Definitely cuts through a lot brilliantly. So, 2D and 3D embossing folders. Let's bring those in. So, I'm just going to get a piece of card and we'll run these through. And then I can show you the different plate combinations that you need for these. So, let's just cut that down. Lots of you loving this. Um, I have the Juno. What is the max it will cut through with normal dies? I mean, it's kind of hard to say. When you say maximum it's cut through, maximum size you can cut through is obviously six by nine. Maximum sort of fix, um, thickness of materials, you just have to really just give it a go. I think it's about having a play with it and seeing. I think it'd be quite difficult to give, us, give you a hard or, thar, or fast measurement on yeah. the thickness of the materials it will cut. Try it. The great thing is that if the Gemini doesn't like it, it will pop it back out again. So uh, you've always got that there. Absolutely, and that's it, like you've just said. It's going to pop it back out if it doesn't like the combination that you've given it. Um, so, like I said, I know some people do a slightly different combination for their 2D folders than these two outside plates. Um, but it's all about the thickness, so as long as your magnetic's not on the outside, definitely have a play, have a go. See what... Um, oh, see, there you go. There you are. I not having that at all. So... That is my two outside plates that I didn't like. So what we will do is, um, I'm going to go in with my magnetic and my plastic, my frosty. 
We'll run that through. So that, that was actually absolutely perfect. So you saw what happened when it doesn't like the plate, plate combination. It just didn't have any at all. So there's never any fear of um, breaking it. So you can see that's... Can you see that? You can see that there, look. Oh, yeah, beautiful embossed there. Beautifully. So that's my 2D. So this is a 3D. So let me just put that in straight. So 3D, that's my outside... Um, cutting plate and I'm just going to use for this one just my frosty on the top so I'm going to run that through yeah it likes it likes that combination getting busier and busier and busier on the Gemini machine at the moment easy to see why with that 20% saving off a machine only deal which is awesome it really is one of the best deals we bring to you I, I couldn't be without mine definitely not so you can see, so if I bring in the 2D and the 3D, you can see the difference. Um, you get just that two layers with this one. If I lift that up a bit. Um, but Gorgeous. with the 3D, you can see that added definition that you get with that. Um, and made so easy with this machine. Really, really great. It's getting busier and busier and busier. We don't have as many of these we would like as we would like to go around. It is UK only. You guys are absolutely loving it. I am going to give you uh, another opportunity to check your baskets out. So whilst you do that, uh, uh, we're going to share with you all the details of Club Inspire. We're going to be back on the other side of this. We'll be talking all things adhesive. So don't go anywhere. Here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy. Get yours now. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Very, very busy on both the original Gemini and that rose gold Gemini Junior. We're going to now move on and have a little look at adhesives, uh, which is awesome. So first up, 
this, a real essential for you. So you're going to get two of your all-purpose glues, which is this one just here, two of the tacky, and then you get one of the 3D glue gel with the tools, one without as well. So essentially a refill there for you. 20% saving here, which is brilliant. £16 or $28 for Platinum members. Right, what are we going to use each of these for then, Michelle? Um... All your glues have a place, they've all got a job, so not just these, but our foam, our red liner, everything, our tape pens, they all have a place, but these three, I think, are the, the ones that we get asked questions about the most. Which do I use for what? Um, so, first off, you've got um, the chunky glue, which is the 3D glue. Um, these come with the little tools for you to dispense into um, your little syringe thingy. I talk way too much with my fingers, don't I? Mm. Um, so this is absolutely br uh, brilliant for any 3D project. So if you're doing decoupage, if you want in that um, height and dimension, um, cures, fully cured after 24 hours. So you're just gonna, you're gonna use it very similar to um, the foam pads, that kind of effect that it's going to give you. Um, but it's also brilliant, so you're gonna, be able to glue um, other things with these, so not just your paper and card, um, wood. Um, I've used this, so a little while ago, I decided to see what this does glue. So I got all sorts of random things. So I got a little stone from the garden, um, I got a key, uh, I got, um, I think I got a metal, um, just like a little metal disc, those ones that you put in your trolleys, you know, those like, ones replace your pound all sorts and I stuck them to uh, a piece of paper, left them overnight and they were stuck solid. So, so your metal, your bits of wood, balsa wood, um, cork, polystyrene, absolutely br brilliant for things like that. So um, yeah, cause you get some glues and you put it on a polystyrene and it melts it. Right. If you know what I mean? Yep. This doesn't. It's brilliant no. for that. So it uh, is. The other alternative I think to this out there is a lot of silicon glues out there, aren't they? That are they're a bit whiffy. I'm yes, going to say they, it, they are stink. a bit whiffy. This doesn't have that awful no. odour, does it, of a silicon based dew? No, it's odor odourless, it's um, acid free, so um, you know it's, it is a good quality glue. So that's your 3D. And then we're going to move on to these two. So you've got your tacky glue and you've got your um, all purpose. So for this, it's a nice, quick, dry, tacky glue. So you're going to use this definitely for any coated cardstock. So you can use it for many other things. I mean, it even says on here, you can use it again for um, wood, um, other material. I can't read that unless I hold it there. <laughs> so even on here, it gives you um, a, a list of things that you can use it on. So, but this is brilliant. So this is water-based. So for your coated cardstocks, this is gonna be brilliant because it's not going to um, affect it in any way. You're going to get a brilliant, brilliant, I mean, hold. Once this is on, there's um, nothing <laughs> it is pulling that off. And like I said, because it's water-based, um, <laughs> um, where was I? Uh, because it's water-based, yeah. um, if you're using it on your thinner papers or you put too much on your cardstock, you will see it warp. Um, and it will warp because that water's soaking in to your papers. So that's where this one comes in. So your Kalal All Purpose is absolutely brilliant. Um, so for all your papers, your cards, everything like that. Um, but this is solvent based. So this is not any good for your coated card socks. It, it will stick and it will hold, but you won't get the hold with this because of the coating. Because it's solvent based, it, it takes it off rather than glues to it, so it'll glue for a while. Um, if you've used this on a glitter card, so if you've used this to try and stick something to glitter card and it's soaked out of the edge a little bit and you've wiped it, you'll see that it's taken the colour away. So your mirror card, your mirror, your mirror, your glitter, anything like that, um, that's because it's solvent based and it's just not, that's just not what it's good for. Right. So you will see that it's taken that coating away. So this, um, so for your thinner papers, because it's not water-based, it's not going to soak through your card or your paper, so that's brilliant for that. So not for coated, for coated. 
if Excellent. that makes it any... It does make sense, total <laughs> sense. Remember what you're getting in here then, two of the all-purpose, two of the tacky. Uh, you're going to get the 3D glue gel, uh, which is not a silicon-based glue, uh, and you're going to get the refill with that too. Brilliant, brilliant price for you. £16.28 for Platinum members. Remember, you've got double points on everything, only for the rest of today. Let me uh, show you this one. Again, it's UK only. Uh, you are going to get 10 glue sticks included. If you love to use hot glue, I know Michelle loves using hot glue, uh, especially for your flower forming foam, embellishments, all of those kind of things. 9.99 this. I know you talk about this, Michelle, as being sort of an alternative to 3D glue gel, don't you? This is your go-to. It is, definitely. Why do you use hot glue? What is it about it you love so much? Uh, for me, so between... Um, I mean, this is absolutely brilliant. If you've got, if you're happy to wait for your projects to dry, this is absolutely brilliant. But for me, just purely um, because I've got no patience, I like that instant. <laughs> it's done and dusted. Um, so I go for the, the hot glue gun. It's something I've always used, um, but you do. So you can get the height with, as like with the foam pads or this. Um, and I know you would probably think you can't use it on the foam because it's gonna, the heat is going to melt your foam or make it shrink, uh, and it will do. So if you are going to use your hot glue on so your foam flowers, so if you've ever seen me doing them, you'll see that I put a little dab of it on one of the petals to hold all my layers together, but you really just do need a tiny little dab of it. Um, you put too much hot glue on there, it is going to shrivel your foam up, but because we've got such a precision tip on it you are able to get in to the base of your flower put a tiny little dot on there and use it on your foam so it is absolutely brilliant for that definitely excellent so that's the hot glue gun and the 10 glue sticks we're talking about there uh now red liner tape you have got in here all different sizes which is brilliant so you've got uh the three mil six mil and 12 mil you get three of each you're getting nine rolls total with this particular bundle. For anyone that's not seen this before, what is red liner tape? How do we use it? What's it good for, Michelle? Uh, red liner tape is absolutely brilliant. So if you're doing, um, if uh, working with acetate, um, it's brilliant for your acetate, um, for you making your shaker cards, or if you're using your dome front, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's, it's the, the stickability is unwrap, it's just really, really strong. So anything with acetate, your shakers, um, and again, so other materials that you want in to stick to your cards, a bit mixed media-ish, um, it's uh, brilliant for that. Excellent. Um, foam pads is the other one we're going to look at now, just here. Uh, an assortment of these, so you've got some really small ones, some sort of medium-sized ones in there as well. Good assortment, 1120. What are we going to use these for, Michelle? So again, um, you're going to be using these for any height and dimensions. So for your decoupage or your pyramage, anything like that. Um, so um, yes, so there's lots of depths and there's lots of sizes. So you can really um, so your pyramage, you can make all your decoupage, you can make all your different heights. So it's brilliant for that. Um, and even on so even if you're using it onto glitter card. Uh, so what I would say um, sometimes glitter card it's like it's the best and the worst trying to get anything to stick to it which is why our um, tacky glue is perfect for this but if you want to use your glitter card to make your, your pyramage your intravage your whatever vage uh, decoupage so your intra uh, um, your pyra pyramage it sort of goes in so your outsides come up rather than it, you're building it up in that way so to speak you all know what I mean um, so if you're wanting to use your foam pads on something like glitter card, use our tacky glue. So put a little bit of tacky glue on the bottom of your foam pad and then stick it down. And then you know it's absolutely not going anywhere. But yeah, brilliant for depth and dimension in all of your makes. Brilliant. Really, really great. Very busy across all of those adhesive collections that we have for you. We're going back to the Rose Gold Gemini. Uh, it's really, really busy on this. Uh, it is limited stock at the moment so this is it just here there are less than 20 now these two go around it is a limited edition this is the last of it you'll never see this again uh, it's also half 
price. I mean, if you're in the UK, you're thinking about getting a junior, 99.99, under 100 pounds to get a machine that has unrivaled pressure, has a six by nine cutting platform. You still get everything you'd get with a normal um, Gemini, so all your different cutting plates, dies and embossing folder, your user manual, it's all in there. I mean, if you tried to just buy the accessories on their own, I'm sure they wouldn't be coming to far off the cost of what you're paying for the entire thing. If you are a platinum member, I think it's almost kind of something you don't really need to think too much about. It is UK only as well. You can spread the cost with ClearPay if you want to. More details for that over on the website. So go and check that out. You just pay 20 quid today to get that home. Amazing. Uh, right. Uh, we are also going to talk about the MIDI, which is this one here just above the rose gold. The MIDI, $55.99 is your price on this one. Uh, $71.95. Uh, really fantastic. Use a folder based system, uh, which is brilliant. So you don't need to worry about any kind of plate combo. It's hand wound. You haven't got to find pl a place to plug it in. It's got the suction caps on the bottom uh, and it is truly, truly portable. It's very busy still on both of those and the original Gemini. What we're going to do is give you an opportunity again to check out. We're having a very busy Sunday here on Crafters TV. Whilst you do that, let's share with you some of our fantastic quick buys. Quick buy, all your crafting must haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafters kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick Buy, get yours now. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood and let's not forget paper, cardstock and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint, offering beautiful, rich and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A 3mm bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, 
you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafter's Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Absolutely. So, so busy. I've got sellouts to tell you about already. Uh, that essential glue collection. Here it comes. Uh, we had a few hanging on. It has sold out and gone. Congratulations. If you got your hands on that one. Other products are going to be going the same way. Three different ink pad collections on the show for you. We've got water reactive. We have got quick dries and we have got opaques as well. We're going to start off with the water reactive. Nice to have the three different ones together on the show so we can really show you the, the point of difference on them. In this one you get green topaz. You also get in here the grasshopper. You've got spring meadow, pine tree, and you've also got smoked emerald within there as well. 1996, 2780. These are the most um, popular of all of our ink pads. Why do you think that is, Michelle? Uh, you, can do a, you can do a lot with one of these water reactive ink pads. Um, so it, it's exactly what it says, it's water reactive. Um, it's slow drying in the way that, um, <laughs> that it sounds, I'm gonna start that again. So it's slow drying, so it allows you the time to blend so uh, this is what it's brilliant for so i'm just going to bring in so this is the um the stencil that we run through earlier um so these so the slow drying and um, it's a dye um so this is what it allows you to do if i tried to do that with my quick dry it wouldn't work it because it's quick drying so it's not you're not going to have the time to be able to do these kind of techniques with it um, you've seen me do it before I put it onto my mat and I pick it up with a, a wet paint brush so it's brilliant for that kind of technique um, and because it's a dye um, when you put it on it sinks into your card so if you've got a pigment ink that sits on top of your card which is what allows you to heat emboss but with a dye it soaks into your card it soaks further down and it might be a little bit technical you might not want to know that but um, hence why you can do what you can do with the dye and why the the opaques um, are a, a lot different so this allows you to any kind of technique that you want to use with water with this is brilliant um, with this again so um, I've used it to pick up off the mat and paint with um, this, the faux bleaching. So if you've blend, so blending, making your backgrounds with these are what these like was literally born to do. Beautiful blending. You get your ombre effects uh, through all your stencils, anything like that. And what's then the best way to put a background? To, what's the best way to make a background with these? Um, any way you want really so if you've just got an a4 sheet of card and you just want to create a background with whichever colors that you want um just go for it just using your daubers or your ink um thingamabobs i can never rem thank you i can never remember what that's called your blending tools um makes sense really doesn't it blending tool to blend your inks with <laughs> so yeah so if you just want to make a huge background they're brilliant for that and again so your faux bleaching effects so splashing your water on um, because it's water reactive it's going to react with that water and when you dab it off um, you get the most beautiful effects so this is absolutely what that is for brilliant so that's your water reactive there then remember it's foot by four Get one free on your water reactive. We're going to look next at the quick dry uh, five piece collection that we've got on the show for you as well. Uh, this one here is the Lagoon. You will also get in here as well the Pale Fig. So you are Lagoon, Pale Fig, Crushed Velvet, Lemon Tonic, and the Parakeet. The lemon Tonic and the Parakeet together work absolutely brilliant. So quick dry, Michelle, where do these fit in our stash? Is there a place for all three of these styles of ink pads, do you think, in our stash? There is a place for all three. So you've got your, you've got your water reactive that will do all the, the blending and the, so with your waters, things like that. Um, but your quick dry dye. So if I use this on here and I try to do that lovely blend, you can see, so the, um, 
you can see, uh, it just doesn't sit on there. It doesn't blend nicely. I've got lots of little marks on there. And if I go in with another now and try to blend those two together, it's not going to work because that's instantly dry. Where this stays wetter for longer to allow you to blend two colours together. If I go in with another colour now of quick dry, I'm not going to blend them together. With the water reactive, I am. So these are brilliant for stamping. So stamping your sentiments, stamping um, anything, as long as you're not going to be alcohol or watercolour in with them. And these are brilliant. So for your layering stamps, we've got many, many layering stamps. So you know that when you're, so if you're stamping four times, going in with different colours, you know as soon as you've put this down, it's dry and it's not moving. Um, and they're archival free, acid free, so you know it's not going to fade, um, you know it's going to last. So if you're giving cards with, with these on, all of these, you know that, that it's not going to fade and, and look pants in a, a couple of years. Don't want it to look pants, it's not pants. what we want. No, so, so that, that's literally your... what it says on the lid. Quick Absolutely, dry. that's... <laughs> no, it doesn't pants. say pants on the lid, no. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think so. Uh, and then we've got the opaque, my favourite by far. So these are your opaque pigment ink pads just here. And in there you're going to get the Pale Fig, Fuchsia, Crush Velvet. You've got the Lagoon and also the Parakeet in there. Really cool colours in there. Fuchsia is gorgeous. 1996, 27.80. What are these ones good for then, Michelle? These are good for um, heat embossing. So it's a pigment. So, um, and you will see straight away with these, it's got a totally different carrier. And because it's a pigment, pigment so these are a dye, and this is a pigment. Um, and the, the difference is a pigment is a bigger molecule. Um, so it allows it to stay wetter for longer to allow you to do those blending and heat embossing. Um, Hence why it's got a different carrier because it's, I know I'm saying molecules and stuff and I don't really get what a molecule is. I just know that it's bigger and <laughs> needs a different carrier. But because it's, um, because it is the pigment and not a dye, it just works differently. Um, so these are absolutely brilliant for blending. Oh, they blend like you wouldn't believe. And because it's opaque, um, the way that you can blend them into each other is just wonderful. But the heat embossing, um, you can, I mean, I have before, so I've inked up a nice big um, sheet on air with you before, and I've inked it up with two and three, four different colours, and then sprinkled my embossing powder over it, and it stayed um, nice and juicy for long enough for me to ink it all up and then do that heat embossing. So they've got a nice open time. These don't sink into your card like a die does. So it sits on top. Um, for a lot longer, which obviously the, the drying time, but it allows you to do what you need it to do. So definitely works a lot differently to your other two and definitely is a must for your stash. Yeah, my favourite, those ones. Yes. 1996, 27.80, if you want to get your hands on those awesome colours in there. So I love that sort of chalkiness uh, that they have, which I think is absolutely brilliant. 15.97 or 22.24, if you are a Platinum member. Don't forget double points on everything you see on air and across the entirety of the website, only until the end of Today, I want to share some of our uh, essential diet uh, deals that we have on the show as well. Uh, here we have the in interchangeable sentiments. Brilliant price on these for you. I've always loved these interchangeable dyes. I think they are amazing. Uh, $34.99 or $39.99 is your price here, saving you £55 almost, over $60. Brilliant, brilliant deal on those. We've got some nesting frame dyes. These are amazing. And again, you've got an amazing price and brilliant deals in this show half price deal there for you spending half what you should be spending and getting that club inspired discount on top so really affordable there on those next up we've got the mini die collection are these new ones johnny brand new they launched earlier in the week i haven't seen them will we be seeing these on second chance sunday in a bit more detail later Brilliant. So if you want to see these demoed in more detail, Second Chance Sunday is where you're going to need to come back with myself and Michelle, 7 p.m. this evening here in the UK, 2 p.m. if you are across on the East Coast. So make sure you've got a hold of those. Um, also, go back and watch that launch show if you want even more inspiration. The 3D frame embossing folder 12-piece collection. Another one I haven't seen, Johnny. Are these on Second Chance Sunday? 
Brilliant, can't wait to see this. I'll tell you what, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be first chance Sunday for me with all these items. Uh, 53, 49 or 70, 95. We'll show you those in more details later to this evening. Uh, and also, sassy and classy, or sassy and classy. Uh, you can go for these four different sets in there. A brilliant saving for you, 15, 99, 27, two. I don't recall seeing them as low as that before. Under 20 pounds or $25. This is in fact their best price yet. Double points on that as well, which is fantastic. Now, Debbie Watmalai Robinson. I haven't seen her for ages. Uh, she loves these. Absolutely raves about $31.47 or $35.59. That is a saving of £73 or $83. They're fantastic. Really brilliant mix and match sentiments there for you that you're going to be able to do a whole host of different projects with. We're going to come back and look again at the original Gemini machine. You guys are absolutely loving this. Uh, it is UK only. You do have a 20% saving on this as well. I'll just give you the details for it. Uh, you were going to get everything that you would expect to get included, which is fantastic. So all the plates, all the dies, you've got the embossing folder in there as well, and you've got the manual too. £143.99 if you are here in, well, it's only available in the UK, £115.19 if you are a Platinum member, which is incredible. And you're getting double points. It is going very, very fast, this machine, as we knew it would. You guys are loving it. Unrivaled pressure, fully automatic. That pause and rewind function on there as well. The ability to emboss with this, as well as cut a whole host of different mediums. So um, cardboard, paper, um, even things like balsa wood have gone through here. Mount board will go through. Hessian, fabric cork, leather, uh, PU leather, absolutely loads of different items will go through. It's a brilliant machine. I know that everyone that goes for these absolutely raves about them. Uh, when did you first get your machine, Michelle? I've had my machine uh, oh, about, oh, about five years, I think. Um, it's hard to remember because sort of have two COVID years, they don't really count, so you don't count them into things and then you realise that actually something's happened more than the two years that you've sort of lost with COVID. So yes, I probably yes, about five years. Yes, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, so yes, and it's a workhorse. I mean, I was saying, uh, in, fact, in fact, I've said it a few times, I've got plates that are about two, three years old. In fact, um, they're probably older because, like I've just said, <laughs> I've mm. lost the two COVID years. So um, they're very, very well worn, very well loved. But I do the Sarah trick with them with the hot water. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, the, the plates, yeah. so our two outside plates, they are a consumable. They are something that we do have to replace. But if you look after them, they do last a very long time. So you literally... So you're just going to get your plate. What I do is, so I boil the kettle, I fill the sink up with boiling water, and I sit my plate in it. And I normally get my um, wooden rolling pin and I hold it. So it presses it down, in, so when it's bowed a little bit, I hold it so that obviously I'm not putting my hands in the hot water. Um, I just hold it in the middle until it goes flat. And then I leave it in there until the water starts to cool a little bit. And then I take it out and I place it on the side and I put my... I put a tea towel over it. I put some. I've got some um, these granite um, work savers. You know, worktop savers that we all have. So I've got a couple of granite ones of those, really heavy. So I put them on top of it. Put my Gemini on top, and I leave it overnight. And when I get up in the morning, take it out. It's cooled down perfectly, and it's as flat as a pancake. And it also gets all. So all those bits of paper that are ingrained into your dies, die cuts that are in there. So. Yes, so they're probably about three years old. I did treat myself to some new ones, but I do swap and rotate. Um, so yeah, they will last you absolutely ages if you look after them, definitely. So, shall we cut some more stuff? So absolutely, so what do we have here? It's balsa wood. There's all sorts in this box under here. <laughs> so I haven't pinched Sarah's so box Sarah's box at all. has been pinched? No, yeah. What, the one that's got the metal and all that sort of stuff in it? Yeah, there's all sorts in there. Who's stolen that? <laughs> I've just been having a right good delve through it. Oh, you've got it over there? Yeah, yeah it's, it's under here. I'm sure she won't mind. No, she doesn't need She's uh, dancing away, she is. isn't she? So she'll be fine. I'm sure she won't mind. So I found some balsa wood. <laughs> and so we're going to bring a couple of these 
nesting dies in. I'm going to cut the balsa wood. So great if you like mixed media, this machine. Yes, definitely. So I've never cut balsa wood before, so we're just going to run it through with the plate combination that we always use. So it's, it's the two outside plates, my frosty and my magnetic. So we're going to put that on there. So it's balsa wood. I'm not sure yet if I'll need my metal shim underneath, purely because it's a balsa wood, um, but we'll soon find out. But just the fact that we can cut through it, I think is fabulous. So, so yes, yeah, so there's all sorts in that box that I thought, oh, I've never used that before. I've never cut through that before. So this is just as exciting for me as it is for you. So let's have a look. Oh, it has luck. It's cut straight through. Brilliant. And that's just a thin metal die. It's not a multimedia no. die you've used there. No, definitely not. So this is on a, a sticky back plastic. And that's going to mean so that's so you've got a so balsa wood, adhesive, then the carrier sheet as well. So three yeah. layers there. Yeah, so it's yeah, cut straight through that. So let's move that to the side. So I thought we'd bring this, this in again. And I thought we cut through far with it before. And it cut through with these, so I'm thinking this time, let's cut through more. Let's see how many layers we can cut through. Um, I am making a pig's ear of her box though, so she might not be uh, too happy when she comes back and sees half of her fabric missing. So let's cut that off. So how many layers do we have here? One, two, three, four. So let's cut another another far. Let's open that up. See if we can get it through eight. Just need to make sure I'm cutting it big enough. Cutting straight is not my forte, just in case you've Well, don't noticed. worry, that's why you've got a die cutting machine. There you go. <laughs> so, how many have we got there? So, we've got four. So, we've got eight there. So, let's put those on there. Let's bob our die on the top. And again, we're going to put the same plate combination through. And let's run that through. So this is um, a, a cotton material that I'm using here for this. And um, I've got a bit of denim there. Slow down. Did you hear that noise? Really put you to the test that, isn't it, it? it? Yeah. Giving that one a right good go. So let's move those. So I don't even need to count. Look, it's cut all the way through. So we did have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. I cut through that with ease. So, you know, the power of the Gemini. I feel like I need to say the power of the Gemini Absolutely. every time I say it. Uh, <laughs> so we've got, um, shall we try the, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. That one that wasn't playing with for me before. So that one, because um, I'd put it on with some thicker materials. Are you going to put it through with the shim this time? I'm not, I'm going to put it straight through like that and we're going to see how it works. Because um, I had the other materials on there, I had that really thick, like, pleather on there as well. So I'm just going to run, so if you was at home, you would be running it through on its own. You wouldn't be running it through with lots of materials with it. So let's see how it goes this time. But again, if you have to put your metal shim in, it's absolutely fine. Um, that's what it is there for. I mean, I have some love. I use uh, my metal shim so sometimes with my jigsaw dies, um, and it looks ever so pretty with those <laughs> indentations in them. So let's have a look. So now again, it's still not done it. So we're going to angle it. And the thing is that this is a good thing for you to see because you know then you know you know sometimes if it's happened to you it's not just you and that is quite an old die as well maybe if i've used a newer one that's not as well worn so there's many different things can affect when you're cutting um some of my dies that i've been tapping to get the bits out if you tap it on the uh, the blade side rather than the other side you're going to damage your cutting blade as well so no, so nearly all the way through, it's just that tiny little bit in the middle that hasn't quite. So would cut you put through. a shim in there now with that? So yes, yeah, so because this is an old die and it's well, well used. I would use my metal shim. Um, so I've had practice, I've put it through a couple of times and it's not working. So for my actual cut through, I would 
put my metal shim in so and also don't forget to tap all your bits out if you try to run it through with all those bits in there as well you're definitely not going to get um, it cut straight through first time so it's not going to get the better of me we'll cut it through this time <laughs> so adding that I don't need to take any of my other plates out it's only if you're adding your in this one that you need to take your metallic out metallic magnetic will I ever get the plates names right metal shim tune in next week for the answer <laughs> It's nearly cut, it's cut all the way through. Brilliant. Just a tiny little bit there, but like I've said, this is a very old die. If I haven't got a new, new one on me, or a newer one, and this is an old one. But um, yeah, that's nearly all the way through, so that's not a problem. Um, Excellent. So, shall we do that stencil again? Shall we emboss the stencil in case yeah, let's people do that. have just joined in? Very... Um, well, I mean, if you, there's, there's some issues, there's some issues on um, Facebook at the moment. I'm not sure if we're there at the moment. I mean, you won't be seeing this if you're on Facebook anyway, because you can't see it. So uh, is it, apparently it's dipping in and out on Facebook. What oh, I'd say no. is head over to our website or over to YouTube. Uh, there's some, just some problems with these, the server at the moment and the Facebook feed. So if you have any issues, pop yourself over to YouTube. It's absolutely fine over there is what I would say. Uh, right then, embossing with our Gemini and with a stencil as well. So we, yeah, so in case you didn't see it earlier, we'll do it again. So we're going to emboss, so this stencil that we've um, found in Sarah's box, Sarah's box. Um, so my outside plate, I've put my rubber mat in there and then I'm going to put my card down and then I'm just going to put my stencil on top. Because I've included my rubber mat, I'm going to take my magnetic one out. You never have those two in at the same time. Awesome. Let's run this through. So you can do this on your junior as well, just using the same plate combination, uh, running it through, and you can emboss your stencils with that as well. But um, So we've all got lots and lots of stencils in our stash that... Um, we don't use as much as we should. So being able to do this um, with it, just, you, if you can hear that when I... So you can hear, as I peel it off, that it's embossed it beautifully. You can see that straight away. So um, going back to our pro, we've got those 12 by 12 stencils um, that came out. So there's the dots one, um, there's like a, a, a leather effect one, a stone effect. Embossing those onto a 12 by 12 piece of um, card and then using that as your scrapbooking page is just, again, another way to be able to use all those things. So Really um, brilliant. Yeah, so that's your fabulous Gemini. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 143.99 if you want to go for that. Look who's here. Look who's here. Come on, here he he's not coming. Come on. Come on in, come on, he won't come, he won't come on because he, he hasn't got his makeup done and his hair done. <laughs> it's because the girls from the salon aren't in uh, on a Sunday, he, he can't get made up. He won't come in, he's not having it. Can we turn the cameras around so we get him on the way out again? Uh, I don't know what he's doing here, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, 143.99, uh, it's UK only, £36 you're saving. Uh, but of course, Platinum member saving even more. Platinum price on an original Gemini, £115.19, and double points, but get it today. I don't know if the, I'm imagining the deal will still be there tomorrow, but do you know when you come back tomorrow, we've got him, we've got the camera turned around, ready to get him on the way out. He's in the dressing room at the moment. Uh, we'll, we'll get him. <laughs> Look at all the mess, fabulous. You anyway, uh, so what there, I would say is you? if you come back tomorrow, you um, will not get double points, which is fantastic. To make sure, oh, it's a flash up. Here he is, get him, get him, get him. There he is. Bye. Got ya. <laughs> See ya. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's always come and get his work suit. He must have gone somewhere swanky, I reckon. Uh, there you go. You saw uh, that was our backstage area just there. You saw someone uh, will be writing an email about that in the morning. Um, <laughs> Double point, it will end tonight, so you need to get it tonight. And I didn't realise actually, is it on all the Gemini deals, Johnny? 
All the Gemini deals are a 24 hour only flash sale. So you must be quick. Did I say it earlier? <laughs> I say a lot of things, Johnny, a lot of things. <laughs> um, right, we're going to move on, 115.19. We're going to talk about the Pro, the incredible Gemini Pro. Represents the biggest saving of all of the Gemini machines that we've got available for you at the moment. Here it is, 359.20. Uh, that is a saving of 89.80. You Platinum members are going to save another 70 pounds, over 70 pounds on top of that. So you're looking at a saving of about 160 pounds as a Platinum member. If you haven't seen, this machine yet it's absolutely incredible take a look at these the features supersize your die cutting and embossing potential with the gemini pro with a huge 12 by 12 cutting platform as standard this machine is perfect not only for larger projects and batch making but also for cutting all elements mats and layers for your smaller projects in one pass too the machine is capable of cutting through all sorts of materials including card craft metal leather, wood, felt, and multiple layers of fabric. The power, pressure, and performance that you've come to expect from the Gemini family of electronic die-cutting machines has been enhanced to the next level. It's been engineered for superb edge-to-edge -edge cutting of up to 12 by 18 size materials with perfect results every time. In the box, along with your Gemini Pro machine, you'll receive two clear cutting plates, a rubber embossing mat, a magnetic shim, plastic shim, and metal shim, all 12 by 12. Power cord, plus of course your comprehensive instruction booklet that will guide you through the plate combinations you need for your different dies and embossing folders. Larger 12 by 18 plates are also available separately to boost your creativity even further. So, whether you're a card maker, scrapbooker, create paper or fabric embellishments, table decorations, wedding stationery, or keepsake gifts, to name but a few, this machine will revolutionize your crafting experience. The incredible Gemini Pro is in stock right now if you are in the UK. So we've double points as well. You get over 700 points on that today, which is amazing value. We're going to come back to this, the Rose Gold Gemini. Uh, it is limited stock at the moment. It is also a thing of beauty. There is 10 of these left. Uh, there are seven of these sat in baskets at the moment. So you do the math. It's going to go. Will it go now? Will it go after the hour? Who knows? If you want it, please don't miss out on it. The opportunity to get a Gemini Junior for under £100. You'll still get everything you get included with a regular Gemini in the regular configuration. So you get your shims uh, and your plates. You're going to get the dies, the embossing folder, uh, the manual. It's all in there. What you're not getting, though, is a £200 bill at the end of it. It's 99.99. It goes down to 79.99 for a Platinum member. That's a saving of £120 uh, for Platinum members, which is brilliant. Right, if you want to get a hold of that, please do. It is very busy. Uh, the MIDI, the Gemini MIDI. This is the other one uh, I want to share with you. Uh, amazing. The newest member of the Gemini family, this one. It still has what's one, which is wonderful. All of that incredible, all of that incredible Gemini power that you'd expect. All of that pressure. It has a geared system on the handle, so it's light work to wind. Whether it's your die cutting or your embossing through here, it also has. Well, I'm just going to pick them up. Here we go. Great suction feet. You can see uh, it's going to pick the stand up uh, on there. So great. Uh, it's not going to bounce around the work surface. Very easy to use. A folder based system as well, so you don't need to worry about plate combinations. Put your die, your medium in the folder, close it up, run it through, and you are done and good to go. It could not be simpler. Uh, I believe we're going to go back to Michelle uh, for this one. I'd love to know who out there owns a Gemini MIDI. I'd love to actually know, of all of you watching right now, what machines do you own? I bet there's people out there that have got every single one of them. Uh, I would imagine there are. Michelle, the MIDI. This is the one that I use when we do, uh, it's only one I'll be trusted with, to be honest, isn't it, <laughs> in the studio. But it's, I love it. I think it's so, so fast, this machine. It really is. Um, and I, I did touch on it before, the carpal tunnel that I had, which is why I got um, this beautiful beast. So when these came out, I thought to myself, actually, I got that because I struggle with the, um, with the turning of the handle. But with this, you've got exactly the same pressure as in this there's there's no difference just because one's manual and one's electronic and 
This is just so easy to turn. You'll have seen all of us turn it with just one and two fingers. So there's no really having to work at it. So this for me is just as amazing as um, our electronic ones. So with this, so you're getting this folder. So these, this is what takes place of your plates for this. So you can use all four sides because it just all flips and rotates. So you can use either side that you want. Um, and then this, so you get this. So this is your shim. So if you're putting a 2D embossing folder through, so I've got one here. So if you've got a 2D embossing folder, you're gonna run it through with this. If you've got a 3D embossing folder, you're just gonna run the 3D through on its own. So we will, we'll, we'll emboss this, I'll show you how it works. So we will just, so I've just got a nice, pretty 2D embossing folder. So I'm just gonna put that in there and I'm just gonna start turning. And you can see how easy that is, look. You're just using, using two, two fingers, fingers there. Oh, let go of it. Just two fingers, it's just going, it just goes through so easy and it's just like cutting butter, it really is. So opening that up and you can see that it's given me that beautiful 2D emboss. So that's what you're gonna use your plate for. So if you're gonna cut, we're just gonna use the folder that comes with it. So I've got a lovely um, lace die there, even though I'm not right happy with her hearing the word lace at the minute. After oh, our... not after yesterday, gosh. <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday, what a nightmare, that play of craft work. We should wait till I see Adam tomorrow. I know. We get a piece of my mind. Gracious. I'll be sending a strongly worded email to the manager of the games. <laughs> so I've put that lovely lace um, die on there, I've put my card in the middle and all I've done is just put it inside that folder and we're just going to feed that through and again let me just... And that's a very very intricate die isn't it? It really is, so I am just, I've got my, t well I've got two fingers and a thumb on there, with my others I would have been cranking but with this I'm absolutely not. So running that through, get that little pop to get it out, Ooh, I'm a stock, oh carry on Twisting. Wind it all the way out. It comes all the way the out. The other great thing, the folders are very inexpensive to replace, they, aren't they, they, with this? Yes, they really are. They real so there you go. So that's just popped straight out. And oh, when I turn that over, it has cut all the way through. So just giving it a tap, all my pieces have come out. Let me find that um release hole. There's there's like fifty thousand holes on there and the release hole is always the last one that you come to. There you go, look. So Brilliant. it is cut through beautifully and perfectly. So exactly the same as the big Gemini with regards to um, the way it works and the pressure. Fabulous, absolutely brilliant, brilliant machine, this one. 55 99 71 95 saving you £14 or $18, which is great. People talking about uh, what they use machine-wise. Christine McCrone says, love my rose gold um, Gemini. Yolanda uh, has the Gemini, the Junior, the MIDI and the Pro. Pretty much all of them, apart from the MIDI or the Go. Uh, Will has a MIDI and the original. Pam E owns the MIDI, the Mini, the Mini, the, this is quite hard to say, isn't it? Mini, MIDI, Junior and Pro. All bases cover. Uh, Cindy's got the Pro, the Gemini, the Mini and the MIDI. Uh, and Manda says, I love my MIDI. I have that, a Mini and a Daddy Gemini. Uh, Crafty Angie says, Joe, I use the MIDI most of all, but I have all of the die cutting machines. That's really interesting. So of all the machines that Crafty Angie owns, which is all of them, um, she uses the MIDI the most. Kerry has given five MIDIs as gifts to new crafters. They are perfect. It is the perfect starter machine. I really think it is because you're going to be able to cut everything in there that you can cut through your Gemini Junior. Also, it stores away very easy. You don't have loads of plates to store. You've just got that folder-based system. And if you knew, you're not trying to work out what a plate combination is going to be. And it's very easy to know if you've got the right combination with the MIDI, because it's just quite difficult to turn if you put too much in, isn't it? I would say, what I would say is don't force anything through your MIDI. Um, it should go through very easily and gently. And I think you'll know very quickly whether it's right or wrong, the amount of um, materials you're trying to pop through there. Let's move on from the MIDI. I want to share these cardstocks with you again. I love these cardstocks. I think they are brilliant. I'm so happy when we brought these out. They're 12 by 12. They are 250 GSM and you've got lots of different finishes in here as well. So you've got the Centura um, sort of pearlescent paper in here. So you get um, 12 sheets of that, and then you get 12 sheets of this beautiful glitter. Now this is fully encapsulated, this, I'll give you a... Um, 
what's brilliant about this is if you've got electronic cutting machines, not a die cutting machine, you know the electric machines like a scanning cutter or a cricket or something like that, this will be able to use through there because it's not going to shed any glitter in your machine, which is fantastic. So you've got the Regal Rose Gold. We then have this one here, which is the glittering gold, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful, really, really gorgeous. Then you've got that glitter card there as well in the gold, again, completely encapsulated. 12 sheets of that, which is wonderful. And then finally, the silver. So that wonderful uh, metallic silver there, and then the beautiful uh, glitter. Of all the glitters, I think the silver is my favorite. I think there's something really classy and glitzy about a uh, silver glitter card. On things like invitations, I think it looks amazing. These should be 20 pounds each. Platinum members get all three of them, 35, 60, or 41, 20. So uh, it's a half price deal for platinum members. Is it just just over, a smidgen over a half price deal uh, for platinum, let's say 45% off. Next up, you uh, have got this, the Centura Pearl, an Essentials Collection. It's a four pack, 40 sheets here for £13, which is brilliant. So you're looking at about 30 pence a sheet on this. That's before you take your uh, Platinum uh, or any kind of Club Inspire price off. You've got the black, the lilac, the baby blue, and you've got the fuchsia in there as well. Brilliant deal for you. Now, the foil press in stock in the UK at the moment, which is brilliant. So if you want to go for that, you can. It's an incredible machine. You've got a great deal on this. Platinum members are uh, saving about £36 on this particular price. Uh, great um, time to go for it whilst we've got the double points as well. Let's take a moment to recap all the incredible details of the Gemini foil press. The Gemini foil press has arrived. Professional and luxurious hot foil letterpress can now be achieved in your own home with our innovative foil press system. This clever machine has been designed with so many fabulous and unique features and it really does take paper and mixed media crafting to an exciting new level. Delivering professional looking foiling results using a hot press technique that ensures crisp, clean images. Perfect for stationery, invitations, party decorations, home decor and so much more. The foil press is the only hot foiling system that uses a silicon plate and we've created a plate that has edge to edge heat. So no matter where you place the dies, the heat will be the same. There are no cold spots or hot spots, just one consistent temperature which again ensures perfectly foiled results every time you use it. Fast heat up reduces wait time, making projects faster to complete. The innovative foil stamp and cut dies allows you to do exactly that, creating professional quality hot stamping and they work on everything from paper, fabric, cardstock to leather, vinyl, balsa wood and more. Don't waste any of your foil as you can use the negative foil left over to create another project. With any machine that involves the use of heat, safety features are an absolute priority. The foil press has been fitted with a built-in cool down feature that kicks in when the machine has been in use for a lengthy amount of time. There is also an automatic shut-off feature that will turn the machine off if the heated platform has been engaged for 25 minutes and not used. Everything needed comes in the box, including a handy manual which gives you all the time and temperature settings for the dies, so you can start foiling straight away. The Gemini Foil Press. Made by crafters. For crafters. So busy on that Gemini foil press machine, 79.99 that you're gonna pay for that, down from 99.99. It is UK only, platinum members under 64 pounds. Get a Gemini foil press under 64 pounds, amazing value. And remember those double points as well. Lots of you still talking about all the machines that you own. Chrissy McCrone's got all of them except the Pro. Uh, Linda says, I love all crafters, companion glues, papers, all the tools. My craft room is all crafters companion uh, Deborah says I have mini midi daddy Gemini and pro use the mini lots but love them all uh, Sherry says I have Gemini midi two minis I craft for my grandchildren are five and eight they use the midi and the mini with no problem at all that's an excellent point as well I think you've got younger crafters aspiring crafters uh, it's a great machine to allow them to use as well we're gonna end on this because it is limited stock it is our Gemini junior limited edition rose gold machine. I think, how many are left, Johnny? Eight left. How many are in baskets? 
I think there's six in baskets at the moment. So if everyone that checks out gets these, uh, if everyone that's got them in their basket checks out, there will be none left to go around. So please, if you want this, check out your basket if it's sat in there. If you have got it in your basket and you're umming and ahhing, mm, ah, mm, ah, mm, ah, then remove it because there's people behind you that would love to uh, to buy one of these. Exactly the same machine as the larger machine, unrivaled pressure, which is fantastic. But on that six by nine system, a lot. I'm thinking a lot of the dies that most people own will go through a junior. I'd imagine. Definitely, I think you'll find that most people have actually got the junior, um, and yes, most dies will go through that, and it's rose gold. Shiny. Shiny. Comes with its what own little better? polishing cloth. I mean, what more do you want? What more <laughs> do you want? A great machine. Don't forget, you will get all of the plates with it. You will also get the dies, the embossing folder, the user manual, all of that wonderful stuff. Remember as well that Second Chance Sunday is coming up a little later today here in the UK. So 7 p.m. if you're on the East Coast, uh, no, 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast, 11 a.m. West Coast, what are you looking forward to, Michelle, in Second Chance Sunday? Well, everything but. So we've got those fabulous um, chalkboard um, stamps. Nice, I haven't seen those. those yet. And we have got, so I've got you a demo with that amazing storybook die. I haven't seen that one either. With the, the little draw, it's fabulous. Um, we thought it'd be gone. I, see, I had the original, and this is a the nice The original was new... so popular, wasn't it? Yes. It turned up yes. on a, um, it turned up in a crafty countdown recently, the original. I couldn't believe it. There was only a really? handful of them. We must have found some yes, in the warehouse. it did, I remember. Yeah, but yeah. it was just a handful of them. I thought, or maybe it was in a mystery bag recently. Uh, but if you loved it, we've got the original. So the original got a little drawer under it. Oh, it's going to be fabulous. You need to make sure uh, yes. you are joining us for that. 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast time. Don't forget, last live hour for Double Points will be that last show as well uh right don't forget to check out your baskets massive thanks to michelle uh, we will see you back here in two hours time ciao <laughs>